Hey there, I have an unboxing video for you today that's really strange. Uh, I ordered this in the middle of 2020 and it just arrived this week. I don't remember what I ordered, but we're gonna unbox this thing, take a look at all the randomness inside and see what I got, so stay tuned. All right, so as I mentioned, I have kind of a kind of a strange story for you today. Uh, this is a unboxing of comic books that I ordered from Dynamic Forces. Uh, I don't order a lot from Dynamic Forces. A lot of what you can get on there can be a pretty good deal, something flying under the radar. Uh, it can also be a whole box of randomness, and you may or may not get your money's worth. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. Um, the last time I got a Dynamic Forces order was a couple years back where I got a few autograph books. I think I ended up selling them for somewhere between 10 and $20 each. And I bought like a stack of some, some stack of four or five books for 25 bucks. So made, made a little bit of money off of that, but really not that much. And it was probably more trouble than what it was worth. Uh, but I just wasn't happy with the books that I got in the the $25 holiday, whatever, uh, mystery pack or whatever that they were selling. So I purchased um, orders from them where I'll gamble and I'll buy their mystery lot or whatever. And then a few other books, maybe a second print here or there. Um, and what they would do is they'd split the order and they would send me the book, so I'm getting the raw comics, but I'm not getting the mystery packs. I just figured, based on what I was reading on the internet and other uh, collectors were talking about dynamic forces, like, oh, just keep waiting, someday it'll just show up at your house, and you, you just forgot that you ordered it. And it was never really the case with dynamic forces. I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I never got the books. So a couple weeks back, I was just kind of taking inventory of just making sure, do I have any other outstanding orders from anywhere? Um, there have been a few comic book stores that I've ordered from over the last couple of years that are total ripoffs. They just stole my money, charged my card. I cannot contact them. They will not write back. And my money's gone. Uh, card's been charged uh, and I waited. So I'm kind of out of the, uh, the window for uh, putting together a card dispute or disputing the charge. Anyway, I thought I would take a shot a couple weeks back. I emailed Dynamic Forces and I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go down by just, you know, sort of cold uh, contacting them. They wrote back right away and they were like, we are so sorry that we have left a couple of your orders unfulfilled. We will, we will correct this right away. And I wrote back. I said, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, you know, that's the kind of customer service we're looking for. And... Uh, it, I was like, okay, well, we'll wait and see how this turns out. So a couple of days ago, a box arrived on the porch via USPS media mail from Dynamic Forces. And this pretty much completes uh, my orders. The, these orders were placed uh, in June of 2020 and then another in December of 2020. So one coming up on a year and the other one a year and a half where... Uh, maybe, I mean, my fault for not contacting them sooner, but I would just figure with Dynamic Forces, you just wait. So let's get to the unboxing and see what is inside this thing now that you've uh, kind of heard the backstory here. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty significantly sized box here. Uh, so let me go ahead and get this open. And uh, it's going to be a complete mystery. So hang in there with me. Let's, let's get this thing unboxed. Ah uh, yes, the uh, the dreaded packing peanuts. So that's what we're up against. So let me try and get these out. All right. So I have three orders. Uh, looks like there are more than three boxes in here. So that'll be interesting. I didn't. I don't remember ordering this many. Like I said, there were two. 
two orders I placed with partial shipments. And I believe that is all. Okay, so here we go. There are four packages uh, in this thing, and they're not really labeled or anything. Um, I'm gonna go actually in reverse order here. So those two are a little heavier, um, and this one is a lot lighter. So let me open this one first and see. I guess before I should, before I open it, let me read what I, I supposedly ordered from Dynamic Forces. Uh, I have a holiday mystery bag. It was a $25 holiday mystery bag. I think if you go to dynamicforces.com, yeah, there's, there's one listed right now. I'm looking at it. Um, there's Dynamic Forces Holiday Mystery Bag, $25, and Dynamic Forces Freedom Starter Set uh, for $120. Um, so back in June of 2020, I ordered the Dynamic Forces Special Top 10 Five Star Sunday. Don't even know what that is and don't remember it. So I don't know what order all of this is, but let's just uh, open it and take a look here. So, this is the first one, and honestly, it feels like there's either nothing in here or it's just like one book. So let's see here. Um, it's like opening one envelope after another. Pull tab to open. Well, that didn't work. It's gross, but we're getting there. Uh, see if there's anything in here. Yeah, it looks like there's one comic, so I don't want to destroy it, I'm trying to get it open. All right, so this looks like a Vampirella Virgin cover. Um, it's not signed. It's just, uh, looks like a J. Lee cover. Uh, there's no certificate of authenticity or anything. So, yeah. Um, and again, I didn't order anything specific, so it's just going to be random books. But you'll get variants like this sometimes from Dynamic Forces. All right. <laughs> so there's one. Put that aside. Let's open up the next envelope. Uh, that was a lot of packing for one Vampirella book. All right, so... This is actually a slab. Let's see here. All right, this is King and Black Gwenum versus Carnage number one, 9.8 white pages. So I think what they did, they must have thrown a couple of just extras in here because they felt bad or something. There, there's no note. I don't see any note saying, hey, our bad. Um, thanks for waiting. I, I, I do not remember ordering this at all. I wouldn't have ordered this. I would have ordered the Gwenum versus Carnage. I think it was the 1 in 25 variant instead, but um, it's a 9.8 white page of CGC slab. Um, so that's cool. Thank you, Dynamic Forces. I don't believe I ordered that, but uh, I will add it to my CGC collection. Okay. Now... These last two packages are, like I said, a little bit thicker and heavier. So I'm assuming that we're going to get more than one book in here. One of the reasons I don't order from uh, Dynamic Forces when they're offering uh, CGC graded books is they say um, at least a 9.6. So sometimes you're paying what I think is the price of a 9.8, and you could risk getting a 9.6. So um, I'm glad they at least sent a 9.8 and not a 9.6, but uh, interesting so far. Um, like I said, those books, uh, the Vampirella and the Gwen vs. Carnage, it must have, they must have just thrown a couple of freebies in there. Okay, so this is one of those mystery packs uh, you can see it's a whole set of books here. So let's see what we got. Um, so before I get into this too, one of the things that crossed my mind is, am I getting books from the time that I ordered? 
because the market, obviously, um, with these books, it continues to rise. And I wonder if they just grab some or, I mean, I can't imagine like if they had some book from 2020 that was cover price that maybe now is worth 50 bucks or something. I doubt that they're throwing that in there. Uh, but we'll see. Let's check it out. So, yeah, this is uh, this is probably, well, I, I shouldn't say it's the, the $25 one or the more expensive one. Um, it's just going to be random, unfortunately. So we got a bag of books here. And right off the top, we've got Superman number 50. All right, so there is that book. Um, looks to be in pretty good shape. Not bad. Here is the Alex Ross. And this is... Uh, oh, right there on the front. I missed it. Um, signed by the man himself, uh, Donny Cates. A uh, very uh, elaborate signature there. Um, lots of detail. So, yeah, DC. Uh, 41 to 62, there is a certificate of authenticity there. Oh, and you know what? The Superman one was signed too, it looks like. Maybe? No? No, this is just an exclusive cover. So let me back up. So here um, we have an exclusive cover of Superman number 50, limited to 2,000. And this is... A Thor number eight, Alex Ross variant, uh, limited to 62 copies. So this specific, um, well, the limitation is just Donny Cates signing it. It's not like the, the book itself is limited. They just took uh, a number of these and had Donny uh, sign them. So uh, it's not a 9-8. Um, and you can't send these into CGC either. They'll just say there's uh, somebody scribbled DC on the front, um, so there you go. All right, this is Axis number one, and it looks to be a Dynamic Forces specific variant here, and the certificate says it's one of 3,000 copies, so uh, not rare by any stretch. All right, here we have Symbiote Spider-Man number one, signed by Greg Land, and it looks like this is eight of 15, interesting. Uh, Symbiote Spider-Man King in Black number one, one of uh, a specially limited series of 15 copies signed in gold. So I wonder if they had a number of these that he signed normally and then only signed 15 of them in gold. Um, and yeah, as you could probably tell, my question's been answered. Uh, we're getting books that are um, new or newer than when I ordered them. So they just went and grabbed books randomly to fulfill that. So it wasn't actually what I ordered. They're just sort of putting together a, a pack for me. Like this one, Suicide Squad King Shark number one. Uh, looks to be signed by Tim Seeley. Uh, and it's 19 of 94. So there's the Seeley uh, autograph there on that book. And yeah, that's a recent release. So definitely not something from 2020. Uh, Atlas Comics Signature Series, this is from Dynamite, uh, James Bond, Agent of Spectre, uh, and this is one of a specially limited series of copies signed by Christos Cage, so there's no, um, there's no one of whatever, who knows how many of these there are, but uh, signed nonetheless. All right, this is interesting, this is Wolverine 300. And this is an original sketch. Um, let you be the judge if you like the art on this one. Uh, Ken Heiser is the, the guy that typically does all of the covers at Dynamic Forces. Um, this is uh, uh, limited to 199, and this is number 19. Right there is the, the numbering. So there you go. Um, that's original art uh, by the artist Ken Heiser on Wolverine 300. Um, and like I said, he just does a lot of work for Dynamic Forces. Uh, this is Walking Dead 115, All Out War, Chapter 1 of 12. Um, and this is also a special signed and remarked by Ken Heiser. So I like that cover. It's cool. 
And we have Superior Spider-Man number one. Uh, so all three of these are blank covers where, again, Ken Heiser uh, did an original uh, piece of art. And it's 33 of 199. And there you go. Um, Certificate of Authenticity. So a nice pack of books there. Uh, three of these like original art covers. So that's different. These are one of a kinds. Uh, not I'll be honest, not a huge fan of the Wolverine one. Uh, it's a little bit too cartoony for me. Uh, but uh, these aren't bad. I like these. And uh, Superior uh, Spider-Man from the Marvel Now run in, uh, I believe, around 2015, 2013, 2015, 2017, somewhere around there. Um, so very cool. Uh, very interesting. And I don't know, you know, I've always wondered with CGC... If you send in a signed book, they say this, it's just scribble on the cover. Uh, but if you send in this with the original sketch, um, I assume you still get the, um, the qualified label instead of the yellow label. But uh, yeah, if to be on the safe side, if you did want to get these graded and signature verified, you'd have to send them all to CBCS. Okay, so that is the third pack. I have one more to go. So one of these was the, the $25, and one of them was the more expensive. That, that had to have been the more expensive one. But this, too, will be a, uh, a pack of books, um, some sort of mystery grab bag, if you will. And let's see what's in this one. Yep, same thing. Uh, and I don't know if they just... Maybe they just got kind of worried or something and said, here, just send this guy a bunch of comics. I, I, I don't know. Because I that's what I feel like. It's just... Uh, it's just a random assortment. You know, instead of being like three specific signed books for that, that holiday mystery bag... Um, and actually, let me read what the holiday mystery bag is here. Um, mix of five random variant comic books, a random trade paperback, and a random signed book. Okay, so that's what this is. Because I could tell when I opened it, I got a um, trade paperback, uh, Nancy Drew. So for you Nancy Drew fans out there, you're probably thrilled that I got that. Um, so this is the holiday mystery bag. This is the what you get for 25 bucks. So this will be some uh, some variants, one sign book, and as I mentioned, we've got this uh, trade paperback that got sent in. So yeah, there you go. There's the trade. And as far as the random books go, uh, here is Guardians of the Galaxy number one, Marvel Now, the Dynamic Forces variant. Uh, look at that one uh, especially limited series, limited to 6,000 copies. So super, super rare, hard to find Dynamic Forces Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Here's Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. Um, this too is a variant. Um, a little bit more rare, limited to 2,500 copies there. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Look at that. Um, that's from IDW number six, uh, limited to 500 copies. There you go. Champions number one, um, doesn't look to be in good shape. There's definite spine roll right here. Um, this is limited to 2,500 copies. Um, the standard cover A of champions number one has picked up some value. Uh, I'll have to look this one up and see what it goes for, but um, yeah, based on the condition, probably not uh, not too happy with that based on the, the spine roll, but um, yeah, there's something up there in the corner too. So condition-wise, uh, there we go. Condition-wise, I don't know what to make of this, but uh, anyway, that's the Champions book. Um, here is X-Men number one. This, again, is from the Marvel Now period, a great Mark's, Mark Brooks cover, limited to 3,000. So there's that one. And last is my signature book, 
And this is Star Wars number one, uh, the Dynamic Forces variant, signed by Greg Land. Uh, there is no specific number or count or stats on how many of these are out there, but uh, uh, if you're a fan of Greg Land, uh, he put his signature right there on Luke's shoulder, and there you go. Was that worth waiting for? <laughs> waiting a year, a year and a half for? I don't know. Um, I like mystery boxes. I I love the Box Heroes mystery box. Uh, sometimes I feel like with these mystery boxes, it's just filler. Like they're just trying to get rid of... They're, they're trying to move some inventory. There's some online comic stores that do this where it's like just send me a random five variants and those five variants have been sitting for sale online uh, for years and they just can't get rid of them. So uh, I've heard about this talk, to, uh, I've, I've heard this topic discussed online where, and, and I've thought about it too, the, it's the, the cost of storage, the cost of maintenance, the cost of sorting and keeping this inventory around and, and space, right? You can't keep every comic book you're going to have to expand and pay for the, the square footage. So a lot of times the companies will just send these things out at a loss um, and then make you deal with it and make you store it. So I have a feeling um, I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do with these, but I may have to move these out myself and, and also take a loss. So dynamic forces is losing out because they probably spent more money to get Greg Land and everyone else and Ken Heiser to do all of these signatures and art and uh, I, they don't have, there was nothing really special in, in any of those that really hit me and went, wow, that's a cool book. Even the slab. Um, so I may have to move on from these books. I'm, I'm disappointed. Uh, the only thing I could say uh, positively really is, again, the fact that they responded uh, via customer service. So my advice to you is if you do place an order with Dynamic Forces, and they don't respond to you, write them, contact them, and, and they'll hit you back. And um, they definitely took care of the issue. They put a couple of those freebies in there, and I appreciate that. So nice gesture on their part. Uh, but the books themselves, out of their mystery, yeah, you know, it wasn't like getting some book where you have a 1 in 50 chance. It's just literally a grab bag. So they're just finding some books that's lying that are lying around, putting them together, and shipping them out. Um, so to each their own. You may love that. You may love these autograph books or those uh, Ken Heiser sketches. Awesome. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, but uh, I'll go through these, see if I can maybe settle on a few and keep them and probably move the rest. So there you go. That was a complete unboxing of two long lost missing orders from Dynamic Forces. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. See you next time.